This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my gang, Ewaritu, and Ife Oluwash, okay? Gang, gang! Gang, gang! Ah, <laughs> what a vibe. I need to separate you two. I have to do something about it. You but can't. before we get to that, eh, I've been laughing my head off. Oh, yeah. You lost your head. <laughs> Just... I mean, all oh my body, I don't know what to call it in a perfect parable. Yes. I'll be laughing. So, I'm sure you've seen the video, right? Mm. If you've not seen the video, please go to Twitter. Are you talking about my sister? <laughs> <laughs> we can't play that video, we're sorry. But you need to go to Twitter, Instagram. I, think I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So, two... Is it girls now? Call them ladies. They're not ladies, please. Ladies don't behave like that. Two girls. Um, I mean, girls don't even video. behave like this. Oh, girls, they, are, they can, it's full exuberance, can uh. do anything, you're growing up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so they made a video saying that uh, his sister, I mean, her sister uh, yeah. is pregnant for David Doe. And I mean, they said a lot. I can't, I can't download Don't forget they egg. said, um, they know people will say it's not their business, but it is, it our, is our business. They're imposing it on mm. us. You know what I remember it's now? The point where she said that she was there when it happened. Yeah, hey, yeah. You know? <laughs> In my mind, I was like, yes. is it some, mm. some mathematics things so going on? She said she went to a co-hotel. The, the narrator, I think that's a big sister, right? She said she the went big to a co-hotel. The big sister. So yeah. she was at a co-hotel <laughs> celebrating her birthday. And then the video came in with um, his crew. And uh, what's the name of him? Ladsi. Is it Ladsi? Ladsi is not even David's manager. You know, it's uh, Asha. The, the child met Lat. Lati came mm. to call her. To come and meet the video, and they went inside, and it didn't happen instantly. And they said, this, call, Wait, please, I want to ask you girls, oh, because she said, uh, You ladies do it every once in a while, it's a normal do what, thing. Who, who ladies? Do you guys do it <laughs> every once in a while? You know, they just call you, who, who, and then you just, you know, every who once ladies? in a while. Just every, no, no, it's not all the time, but every once in a while. If eh, well, I'm asking now, who ladies? <laughs> who ladies? <I> mean, <laughs> the video is funny, but um, um, disturbing. In fact, I'm hoping that in the next one hour or two, they will come to tell us that it was a joke, oh, and a prank, and they will to. David said they're going to jail, so let's. No, see of course, when they come out to say it's a joke, David will let's go. Was his own, mm. but um, when I when I saw the video and in my mind I was waiting for them to just say it's a prank. <laughs> Congratulations, Choma. That was what I was expecting. They and even this Choma, very you know, like I mean, girls. we don't care your son. We don't care. People should learn how to act right. Mm. I mean, you want to chase clouds. There are mm. other things you can do that are reasonable that you can chase clouds with. This one is totally out of it. This is totally. Why would you come and just sit in front of family? <laughs> Why is angry? No, it's, on very, national TV. it's very embarrassing. Do you mm. get for mm. women that are probably pregnant for men and they're not ready to take up the responsibility? Mm. And you're coming out here making a joke out of it. It's not even funny. What if if what if these um, girls are going through some form of mental health issues? I'm trying to remember the name of that um, condition that actually makes you imagine things that are not. <laughs> I'm serious right Both now. Both of them, yeah. yeah. I can't remember the name, but I mean, Google is your friend. There's actually a mental health um, issue, um, um, condition. Schizophrenia. Is it? Are you sure? Ah, it's something not close bipolar. to it, but no, it's mm. not bipolar. There is a particular name for it, and I hope this is not their case. And even if one person is going through this mental health issue, is it it's two of them going in? The and, and then the person recording the video. How, how, have you how many have you noticed that you're pregnant? Does David know you're pregnant? I wish you could I play this video. I can't even pregnant you and then they're asking yourself. you how many months. Just a few weeks. Just a few weeks. <laughs> and then the crazy thing is, um, you know I said it earlier that I was having a conversation with um, our programs manager and she said um, whenever she has a daughter, she would actually see that daughter down and let her know the difference. That the fact that you're giving it up to a man doesn't mean that he has good intentions for you. Mm. So it doesn't mean that he needs to spend the rest of his life. So if you get pregnant in such a situation, which obviously you yourself made it clear that mm. David Odin, David Odin walk up to you to ask you out. This thing is not even true. If I ask you to like not even assume. Okay. Right. He didn't ask you out on a date. He didn't say, be my girlfriend. And even if he said, be my girlfriend, that same night, what happened to our think about it? Mm. Or we don't do that anymore? Mm, well, it's well a, it's that, that means that was a personal do, thing. But, uh, <laughs> personal okay. choice. So, at the end of the day, if you get pregnant, man, undo your business, man, mm. because obviously, this sounds like a paid service, mm. if you ask me. 
It sounds like a paid service. Because why won't, didn't they We go don't up? need your money. How much do you have? Yes, I want room. If I do this, well, what, if you, the, what if it's the room in the major room? In the, in the major in, house, in like the one room in the house. They lie. That, that bed sheet self look poor. Uh, uh, my own, my, my home is everything about that <laughs> is wrong. So, like, <laughs> every single thing about that video is really wrong. Like, they, and they, they need to they come out. Because like, now, I like that the video is um, coming what? out to say that they will go to jail because they need to be held accountable for whatever they've done. Mm. This is very. This is um, defamation, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and it's very wrong. He has a fresh baby at home, and wife and everything. Fresh. <laughs> now, fresh that baby. That you went to be to. Do you get that you God more than every day? <laughs> baby, that time. How is he fine? Well, uh, fine is doing well, oh. Oh. Fine is kicking hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That baby is so fine. Kicking, no shame kick. No, of course yes, now. They still kick when they, they come kick. out. Uh, yeah. oh, what okay. do you know about babies? I don't know anything about motherhood. I hope I don't know. You like, have to know. No, no, I'm talking about motherhood now. Come on, how will I know about motherhood? But well, if your wife is pregnant, you have to be uh, part yeah, of Yeah, I'll be part of I'll be it's a fatherhood in my case. Mm. Yeah. When I'm not Bob. Yeah, wait. <laughs> it's not that risky. I'm but not that risky. You get to know yeah. a lot of things about babies. Anyways, if you want to laugh as much as, I've, as we have, please just go to social media and look for the video. It's everywhere, trust me. Yeah, you know you'll find your sisters. That's the next story. Emma is planning to go into film production. Or I think he has already, right? Because mm. from the, what I read, it's um, already on the way. Like, the production is going on, and then he just launch the production company. I mean, this is what we read. We don't know if it's true, but from the source it came from, I think it's credible enough mm -hmm. to believe that. So I think this is good for him, and um, that should be more money. Emma is an entrepreneur, like he always calls himself. He's not just a rapper, or he's so many things at the same time, and I wish him the best in this one, and I feel like he will give us some good Nollywood movies. Mm. I, wish, um, I wish him the best, mm -hmm. and I like the fact that Emma is somebody that takes things like one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. because it's when you rush everything together that you don't get any results at the end of the day. Mm. According to where I read it, it said that um, in quotes, quote and unquote, he has made his name in the music industry mm -hmm. and now he wants to focus on the movie industry. And that's perfect. He's not trying to, you know, juggle the two together and at the end of the day, he won't be able to manage it well. Mm -hmm. I like that about him and I just wish him best of luck and I expect the best from him. I feel like he has given us a movie already with M.I. the movie, the album. <laughs> yeah, so, right. um, so I expect nothing but the best from M.I. M.I., if you know him, is a perfectionist. He puts in a lot of um, work into his craft and um, he's very intelligent as well. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I expect that whatever he's working on will be iconic. It won't mm. just be your everyday kind of production and mm. all of that. It will be iconic. So I'm really, 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 really looking forward to um, whatever this movie is about and the production company, you know. And then um, if you guys are looking for somebody to cast. Oh, and talking about iconic productions, if you, have you seen Joker? Joke, I heard about it. You need to go. You need I need to go. go. That is a master. Oh, so you guys are now Peace. going to the movies without me, eh? Because you've decided to be a year, year boyfriend. Ha. According to And Zlatan. I would have paid. <laughs> I would have paid. need to go on a big break. In, but when we come back, we what? have a guest in, in the studio. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is one of the most daring comedians you'd encounter. Um, he has been writing and performing stand-up comedy for over a decade. Also, he has written and directed stand-up comedy shows for other top Nigerian comedians. He is one of the characters in Bovi's Back to School trending comedy series. Let's make welcome the man who recently claimed to have been to have received a very hot slap 
from Obi Franklin, the funny Omini. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the No, it'd be like saying a slap is supposed to be. So did you receive a slap? Yes, because I it did. Seems I'm seeing my the collaboration my with you already. and Ubi already now. Oh, man, so have, this is part that's... of your spirit <laughs> jungle. No, I, wait. Ubi had his other slap. Strong. Yes, I received the slap. Are you sure? Yes, and, and my pain is that I didn't slap back. Okay, but it seems the you guys have stopped, settled. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, we've settled. Ubi is now my Because I see he was moving, um, sharing tickets or yes, something. Yes, Ubi is now my, is my brother now. So how did my, you settle? Do you have to I slap him? I love you him? now. So did you? Uh, <laughs> the money, money changed hands. I was no, funny thing, yeah. Um, when it happened, it was even a misunderstanding. Ubi wasn't even in the room when I told the joke. What's the joke? Sorry. Uh, can you tell us how you just said tell it? us the joke? Okay. Uh, actually, the joke was supposed to be for was supposed to be a set for mm -hmm. my. Tell I'll, us I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a bit mm -hmm. of the joke. Yeah. I won't tell you everything. I'll tell but you. But you told it already at the show. Yeah, because it, from the show, it, it was even it wasn't even supposed to come out. You were not even supposed to see the sh the joke. It was supposed to be only those in the room mm. that had the opportunity of seeing. I told the organizer that okay. this joke shouldn't come out till okay. after my show. Oh, okay. You know, so uh, the bit of the joke is, you know how the, so, the title of my show is No Hate Speech. Mm -hmm. So the joke is there's so much hate speech in Nigeria and around the world now, especially in Nigeria, especially on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, Nigerians have found a way to uh, uh, equate human beings with animals when you do something they don't like. Mm -hmm. But black Americans have also found a way to equate human beings with animals when you do something they like. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, why can't we emulate Americans? For instance, America could say, Elsie is my, uh, Elsie is one of the big fish in this business. Mm -hmm. And Nigerian would say, ah, see, I'm, a fish brain she get to, she no get sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And American okay. would say, Omin is my dog. Mm -hmm. Dog, and you'd be happy, like, this guy is calling me a dog, and you'd be happy. And Nigeria would say, Siam, Ubi, na dogo. But the spelling of their own dog is different, though. No, it's, it's dog. dog D-A-W-G. That's, that's, just, that's just changing it. It's like yeah. changing anything. It's still dog. Mm -hmm. Potato, potato. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Mm. It's dog. You understand? Because you know why? They, see, they, they, they feel dogs are loyal. Mm. So they say, this is my dog. Mm. You understand? It doesn't mean anything. It, that was part of the joke. Mm. And that was where Ubi name came in. And so you can't say Ubi, not dog. Ha. Huh. Come on. No. Mm. Come on. No. So is it your dog or is it a dog? Which one? How do Nigerians say it? Before I chop slap for me. <laughs> <laughs> let's, 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 let's be realistic now. Yeah. How do Nigerians say it? When, when you're angry with somebody, what? what do you say? A black American will say, you're the goat. Great but Nigerians will say, time. you're a goat. Mm. They mean two different things, but they are the same, the same thing, meaning mm. two different things. So it was just a comparison. But that's what I'm that's saying. Are you saying Ubi is a dog or he's the dog? Oh, he's your dog. Or he's your dog. It doesn't matter. No, wait. How you my say question it. is you and Ubi, do you guys have like a tight relationship before going on the stage to tell that joke? You don't have to have I don't, a tight that Wait, don't, yeah. I don't for the person to, to be loyal to wait, hold on. I'm not talking about permission okay. now. In the context of what he's saying, do you get for you to call him a dog, that means you're trying to say he's loyal to mm -hmm. you. So I believe that you must have a relationship or something to an extent okay. for you to be loyal saying. to this, you. This is it. It's it's because uh, it seems like you're trying to twist your joke. No, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not yeah. twisting my joke. Mm -hmm. it, it's 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 gonna be stupid for me to tell a joke mm -hmm. and begin to explain the joke. Uh. It's stupid from my own point from my own part. If I tell a joke, okay, I'll tell you something that happened. I uh, was basketball show, mm -hmm. and a comedian told the joke. I was with Bobby, and Bobby said, did you get the joke? I said, yes. He said, what did, what was your punchline? And I told him my punchline. My punchline was different from Bobby's punchline. But it was the same joke. No, I, I get what you're saying. But you, that's that's going comedy. by the explanation yeah. you gave us before you told this joke, yeah. and the news about Ubi online. Mm. So if you relate him to a dog, which we know what's, uh, what we mean when we relate people to a dog in this like part of the world, yeah. then we know what you're talking about. Is it a crime? for a man to have children from many women. And like she said, you don't have a personal relationship it's, with no, him I for him to be to loyal have, to you. So how can it be your it, dog? Is it a crime mm -hmm. for a man to have children from different women? Is it a crime? Of no, course, it's not. It's not. So what are we saying? It's kind of irresponsible. Though. No, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not irresponsible. It's not, <laughs> it's not, not, it's not, it's not irresponsible. No, it is not irresponsible for a man to if have children. Your slap is coming. You both say it's irresponsible. I don't know your if you're slap. Please your... come and slap me. I want to trend. <laughs> so I, I, I think I think yeah. And although Ubi called me, 
He called me. He apologized. Mm. You understand? Who be apologized? Yes, he did. He called okay. me. He apologized. You I'm know, sure he apologized for the slap, not for how you made him feel. Mm. It, see, I don't care how I made him feel. Wow. wow. When I tell a joke, I'm unapologetic about it. You I are think. apologetic right now because you're trying to defend no. what you said. Okay, I'm so not. how did you guys, okay, wait, 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 wait. Mm. How did you guys settle? Um, <laughs> a couple of people called me, mm. you know, after the thing. I, I, I didn't see him to retaliate my slap, which I was not very happy about, mm. you know, so... I was trying not to disrupt uh, my friend's show. That was mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I just let it go mm -hmm. that moment. And then that night, I was very furious. I just, you know, posted something. And then, you know, a couple of my friends started calling me, no, take this, like, my friends who are loyal to Ubi. Mm -hmm. Who are Ubi's dog. Who are Ubi's dog, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, no, the dog, yeah. yeah. Like, you okay. know. Okay. So not dogs. They started mm -hmm. calling me, like, hey, take that down. Bro, what's up? No, now, how about chill? I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. It's, it's, we have to fight some way, somehow. You know, and then the next morning, uh, MC Galaxy called me, like, bro, how far? Because they didn't know, really know what happened. Mm. You know, I was like, no, I don't go come on this, you know. Make Ubi call me. Mm. You know, Bobby called me and said, what happened? And I told Bobby, really? Yeah, is that what you said? Yeah, okay, ah, uh ah. -uh. You know, a couple of people, TA called, a lot of my friends, all bad, you know, people called and all that. And then after a while, Ubi called me. Mm. I didn't even know it was him because it was my small Nokia phone that he called. Mm. So he wasn't, I couldn't, no true caller. So he called me, like, he started speaking language. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Hey. I was like, what is that? Knew what exactly did he say? He was just saying, oh, we're brothers. Um, um, uh, you shouldn't have done that. Why so when he was raising me? the hand, he didn't know hey, you why, why would you call me a dog? I let him, you know, express Finish. himself. Mm -hmm. When he was done, and I told him the joke. Now, do you know Ubi wasn't even angry at the joke? It was somebody who told him, because he wasn't in the room when I told the joke. Mm. It was somebody who told him that this guy called you a dog. So he drove down to come and slap you? No, he was in the show. <laughs> <laughs> but at the moment when I was performing, I think he stepped out. Mm. Yeah. You know, so when he came out, somebody said, ah, this boy called you doggo. You know, so he's just like, oh, interpreted it like, okay, this boy called me dog. That means... And then he messed into you. And then he just well, came, you. you know... You, you get. But then that speaks a lot about his anger, anger issues. issues. You know, mm. so when he called me, he was like, "Okay, he's sorry." You know, we spoke at land, this one, that one. You and know. he bought tickets to your and show. He was like, "Okay, he's in fact that he's been admiring me from afar." I said, mm. Mm -mm, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." I've known you a long time ago. You know, it's not like we're friends, but we see and talk. The first time I met to be was it was in Yanga that brought him to my place. Mm. That was like 2009, thereabout. And I just came fresh from um, Project Fame, mm. you know, where where that closed that time. So we yeah, always, you know, come around. This is to be where we speak that time. So yeah, brought one guy. Yeah, this is now I brought out oh. uh, and my manager. And uh, now will be being named. Oh, be be. But we're not close. Close. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, blew up. Became so big at the time, you know. And we're not very close mm. anymore. But when we see, we see, hey, how far, how far? Mm. Mm. That's just the relationship we had. Yeah. Hey, wow now, wow now. Uh, that's, that's it. Okay, um, yeah. sorry. <clears throat> I want to ask a question here. Mm. Um, as a public figure, you yeah. know, and then you were so bent on seeing him. If he didn't call you, you had a plan that you had to have a fight somewhere. Yes. I mean, as a public figure, mm. don't you think that it's more like you're promoting um, violence? I don't understand. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you, want, you want people to so you are saying you are saying you are saying the Bible. Are, are you saying the Bible promotes violence? No. There's so many wars in the Bible. So what are you saying? This is not about the Bible. I'm talking hmm. about constitutionally right now. Let's, are you, why didn't you just report to the police? Constitutionally, why didn't you, why didn't you, why you, why didn't you plan on taking legal action? Yeah. Why? Why do you have to? Because um, because it's not like I, in fact that we wanted to do legal action. Good thing. Mm. Go, but you go, 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 go. No, you see, that's the problem. We're always money, 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 money. How about satisfaction? It's not about mm. money, man. I'm so talking wait, about what is wait, right. Wait, right wait, now. wait, wait. I want to get something straight. So you're talking about satisfaction. So yes. you would have been more satisfied if you had, the opportunity if you had to a him. fight with Ubi than getting millions of naira. Yes. You'd have been more satisfied. Yes. Ah. Okay. Even if you're going to be more satisfied. <laughs> even if you're. Wait, wait. Come and slap <laughs> me. <laughs> This is me. Mm. What even beat you? Uh, I accept defeat. Wait, even if, even <laughs> if my point is here, yeah, what if after your fight, both uh, of you have a face off and then you have like serious fight mm. and you get arrested and probably go to jail, will you be happy? 
satisfied in jail. Yes. 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 Okay, okay. I think we should we should move away a bit and okay. say now that you brought this social media mm. and you saw the reactions mm. and you, you were everywhere and all that, what would you say about the power of social media and how it helps um, your craft? Uh, social media is a blessing and a cause. I'm not a social mm. media person per se, mm. if not for the fact that I am an entertainer who needs social media mm. to once in a while put out stuff. If you go to my, I, I don't have a lot of followings mm. because I'm not, people will say, oh, do stuff, do. It's, sometimes I want to do these things, but I just get lazy because I believe my work is not all. Um, as a stand-up comedian, I'm not, my work is on stage. Mm. Mm. You're not you an understand? Instagram comedian. Yes, I'm not an Instagram comedian. Mm. My work is on stage. Uh, it's not bad to do Instagram or social media or Twitter or whatever. It's not a bad thing at all. If I have the energy, if I have the strength, I'll do it. You know, if I have content, I, I, I that is designed for social media, I'll definitely do it. Mm. Um, this has all, all this um, incident has been a blessing to me. The slap. Yes, wow. it is, and I'm grateful to Ubi for, for that. slapping. Yes, you know why? Let let me tell you. I'm having a show on the 10th of November. Mm. Mm. I've been having a bit of financial challenges mm. on promotions okay. and all that. My billboards are not out. My show is like three weeks away mm -hmm. or less. My billboards are not out. My TV ads are not yet rolling. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, there were some funds that were supposed to come. You know how when you're planning something, mm. and sometimes, okay, the, this money is coming, and it doesn't come. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, what next, what next? Mm. So I was even thinking of a strategy to use to promote this show with the little resources that, that is available. Mm -hmm. And then this thing happened. Yours, no, let's be direct, and then the slap came. And the slap came. Mm -hmm. This is an instant promotion. I'm here Instant pre-cop. Instant pre-cop. This is an instant promotion. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And there's no way... Um, we've already talked about my show. Mm. There's no way this thing would go on. Yeah, we've made peace. Mm. But I'm taking advantage of the moment. Yeah. And I'm promoting my show. Something mm. positive. We're cool with Ubi now. He's my friend. Mm. He'll probably be at the show. You get my point. Mm. It's not life, no, they difficult like that. Mm. I like your honesty. You don't give me money. Funny enough, I have mean, Ubi, oh, okay, okay, don't worry. I'll buy tickets. I said, no worry, make a first duty. I don't send account number, Sha. Mm. So but you never me, land. I never see a lot. You go land. So if I don't yeah. see a lot, me and Ubi go land. Now Ubi, Ubi. Sandra, <laughs> before Sandra get a lot, it takes more. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Maybe now after your show, you go figure your own. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, it's not about money. No, from what I heard about yeah. Ubi, though, he actually supports um, yeah. people. No, in I know. He does. He has, you know, he does. Yeah, yeah and he also supports a lot of women, too. Yeah, he does. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Cheerful giver. Okay, so when did you start the stand-up comedy thing, business? Uh, very a long time ago. Mm. The first time I heard the microphone tell a joke was in 2005. Mm. That's a long time. What was your first joke? Do you remember? Uh, I don't think I remember. I can't remember my first mm. joke. But, but how it started was when I was in school, yeah? I used to do music. I used to do rap back then, you know? Mm. So, uh, the first so you're time a field I, rapper? I'm a field rapper, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome time, to the club. Uh, I told <laughs> a joke. It, was, it wasn't like a joke joke. It was like emceeing a show okay. mm. on campus. You know, I emceed this show where... Uh, I was supposed to perform as an artist, the MC didn't show up. I'm, I'm this funny guy who, you know, just in the mm. studio play, you know, mm -hmm. just... So I MC the show and the guy who, who did the show liked it and he was like, okay, I'm going to do the next one. He put me on the bill, next one to MC. So that was how the department started. All these girls mm. on campus, they, okay, come and MC my birthday. Mm. They don't give you money. They rise, you would think, okay, rise, they to chop. You know that kind mm. of stuff mm. like that. School yeah, based on school mm. level. You know, so I started, then I came to Lagos to do music. Mm. I came to Lagos to do music. I actually produced a couple of songs. You know David Jones? Naibo, 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 you know, did uh, a couple of songs for me. The song never saw the day of uh, light of day. Why? You need money to promote music. Mm. It takes a lot to promote music. Now you have will be in your corner, so. No, I can't. Maybe you I can, can try again. I can't do, if I'm going to do music, I'm just going to do it for fun. Okay. That means I can't, you, it, I can't put music in my was energy. not even a passionate thing for you. It was was, just... See, there's a stage you get to in life. Some things, you have to let some things be. Mm. You understand? It would be stupid of me to begin to say, I want to chase music now when I'm seeing the light in comedy. Mm. 
Okay, you so understand? now that you said all of this and you're saying that, oh, you're taking advantage of um, this whole slap thing, mm -hmm. what, what, what's the guarantee that this wasn't staged or this never happened? So, <laughs> can you, yeah, just for promotion. What's the guarantee that um, you know? I asked um, initially, did were you really slapped? Let me let me let me tell you something. Mm. If if you've known me, some people, especially in my industry, will tell me, "Oh, you should have been bigger than this." There are so many things you don't do. Mm. I just believe I'm a comedian. Let me tell jokes. I I don't really know how to do social media or media or I'm not good at it. Reminds me of I'm, te I'm terrible <laughs> at those things. Mm -hmm. you know, if you look at my peers, if you look at the guys who I would say were about the same set in the industry, mm -hmm. a lot of them have a lot of more followings than I do. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable. I'm a content person. So you're saying you're not the kind of person to stage this kind of I would never. For if, okay, if so I, since you didn't stage it, can you tell um, take us on the journey of how it happened. Well, did nah, Ubi we, just, have, we have seconds did to go. Did Ubi just walk up to you and I just slap you? No, you could have just done that altercation now. and then you yeah, said something back. You know, then. this is what was what happened. I directed a cappella stand-up performance mm -hmm. for his show. I was a director of his performance. I had done my bit, mm -hmm. done my set on stage. I'm back uh, backstage now. I was trying to make sure I, I there are some things I needed to put in place, mm -hmm. you know, so because he was going to come up. He was already set to come up. Yes, and you know, when somebody who's doing a special wants to come up, there's this tension. There's this making sure that, okay, what's right, what's not right, is everything set? Do you understand? You don't, I mean, people pay money to come and see you. Mm. You must give them value for yeah, their money. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, in that process of me trying to, so we just come, hey, come. In my mind, he wanted to say something. I didn't, you know how mm -hmm. you're not prepared for something like, oh, but this video, I was like, hey, Ubi, wait. You know how you're mm -hmm. trying to, like, hey, wait, I didn't yeah, come, I didn't do something. Mm -hmm. Next thing, he jacked me. It was when he jacked me, and I looked at a capella was standing right here, mm -hmm. and in my mind, punch this guy. The other mind, slap this guy. The other mind was like, no, if you do this, you're going to disrupt this guy's show. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that no was matter, before the slap. You just yes, slap. and no matter what happens, I'll blame myself. Mm. Like, why did I fight this guy? Mm. So after the jacking, his so slap. after the jacking, I was just, I just, I was standing like this. I wasn't even. You know, so he was talking, and then next thing, no, I slap. It was when he slapped me that I just like, eh, in a crest. Was the slap really hot? No, be hand soft. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how we wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shukai, the entire production team, and of course our studio guest, Mumini Aho. Thank you for being here. Thank you. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later. <laughs>